making fine-tune adjustments to large-scale publications without negatively impacting other aspects of your document layout can be a daunting task. Grouping common elements into individual layers can make layout modifications less difficult. In this video, we're going to be discussing adding, removing, and modifying layers in Scribus. So let's get started. Welcome to class. When a layout design contains lots of content frames, it becomes more probable for small items to get hidden under larger items. Now, this is not always an issue and may actually be intended. However, when you need to make a change, selecting the elements you intend to can be difficult. Layers provide a way to manage all the items that make up your publication by grouping content. Think of layers as transparent pages that contain content. By default, Scribus documents have a single background layer. Let's take a look at a document and add a few layers. The Layers Control Panel. From the standard menu, you can select Windows and then Layers, or by using the keyboard shortcut by pressing the F6 key on your keyboard. When the Control Panel opens, you should notice that there's a single background layer. Adding Layers. We can add layers to the document by selecting the plus button on the bottom of the control panel. Let's add a few layers. After adding a layer, you should notice that the new layer has been added to the top of the list of available layers. You can also copy a layer and all of its content into a new layer by selecting the duplicate layer button on the layers control panel. Selecting layers. There are two ways you can select a layer. One method is to click the layer in the Layers control panel. The other option would be to use the Layer Selection drop-down list in the Application Windows footer. If you have the Layers control panel open and use the footer Layer Selection to change the layer, you should see the Layers control panel updates highlighting the selected layer. Change Layer Names The very next thing you should do after adding a layer is to give the layer a descriptive name. To change a layer's name, you should double-click the box containing the layer's name inside the Layers Control Panel. Once the name is highlighted, you should be able to use your keyboard to type a new name for your layer. Giving each layer a descriptive name is a great way to keep yourself organized while you work. Show or Hide Layers Among other options provided by the Layers Control Panel, you can choose to show or hide specific layers as well. This can be very convenient if you're making adjustments and are not sure which direction to go. By showing and hiding layers, you can temporarily add or remove elements from your document layout. When you've identified which direction you're looking to go, you can either keep the unneeded layer hidden or remove the layer and all of its content entirely. You can show or hide a layer from the Layers Control Panel by selecting a layer and checking the option under the Visibility icon. If the option is checked, the layer should be visible, and if it's unchecked, it should be hidden. Removing Layers There will likely come a time when you feel the need to remove a layer. From the Layers Control Panel, you can select the layer you want to remove, and then select the Minus button to remove the layer. An important note here, if the layer you're removing has content on the layer, you'll be asked if you want to keep the content. If you select yes, all the content will be moved down one layer before the layer is removed. You should now know the basics of working with layers. In this video, we discuss how to manage layers in Scribus. If this video helped you or you'd like to have us cover a specific topic in Scribus, let us know in the comments section. See you in the next one.